What up, y'all? As always, you're awesome for tuning in. So this game came out today. It should be about some ancient AI god, which seems kind of relevant given the times we're living in. It's like a retro sci-fi walking sim, I believe. Looks pretty interesting, so let's check it out. Stick's not responding. Can you take control? The storm is interfering with my senses. Hold on. Impact in ten, nine, oh, there it is. Addy? Addy, please respond. Oh, my everything hurts. You've been out for nearly an hour. What's our status, Alan? We've crashed. Yeah, I got that. My hull is intact. Thrusters two and four are damaged and will require realignment. So will my back. Can you let me out? Not before we talk about your suit. Okay, talk. I'm reading green on seals, green on batteries. Thermals are, well, not green, but fine, and you have 5.35 hours of oxygen, maybe six if we run the scrubbers hot. But Addy, we've had this discussion before. You won't have Alan, enough to- it's fine. I have a plan. I'm concerned that- I have a plan. Understood. Now, uh, open the hatch. The canopy hydraulics are not responding. You'll have to pull the manual release. Oh, seriously? This stupid piece of junk. I'm right here. We have escaped. Visibility's terrible. Any sign of the spire? I'm not picking up anything new, just the original beacon signal. You'll need to use your wayfinder to locate an entry point, if there is one. All right. Let's figure out where you're at, Grace. You know the beacon could be anything. A lost colony, a relay station. 200 distinct oral histories can't be wrong, Alan. Grace is here. I can't believe this storm. Where would this have come from? There is record of ancient terraforming on other moons. I think it's safe to assume that Ganymede is not an exception. Okay, so we can sprint. It looks like they're going to be doing a whole lot of talking. Ooh. Looks like a weather station or maybe a seismic station. It looks the era of that relay from the Dawes Sea Dig. It's at least 700 years old, Alan. All right, well, let's just follow the marker. There's a little bridge here. There wouldn't be much sense of building this if we weren't within walking distance of the spire. By all estimates, the beacon is within 400 meters. This looks climbable. Voice acting is pretty solid so far. Digging it. Which way here? Guessing this way? Seems kind of obvious, but. Or maybe it didn't matter in hindsight? Yep. happened fell into a stupid fissure looking for a new way to reach the spire or at least some place where it will be easier to find my body i was actually wondering when that would happen <laughs> okay let's keep moving hmm 
Looks a little tight. It's opened up again. I guess we're trying this again. Another station. They're too close together to be weather stations. So seismic then. Ice quakes would be the risk of building here. So it makes sense they would track activity. The surface temperature is dropping. We can't maintain your thermals much longer. We're close. I, I can feel it. I wish I shared your optimism. I think this is where we're supposed to go. Oh, yeah, looks like it. Oh, wow. This has to be it. What are you seeing, Addy? I'm looking at what must be the spire superstructure. There's a destroyed surface ladder. I'll need to find another way in. I can't imagine how something this big has gone undetected for this long. A 500-year-old storm? I don't know. It doesn't seem possible. No, that's not it. Climbing? Really? None of it? Game's running really smoothly, though, so that's also a very. I've seen exhaust port that might be low enough to jump to. Nice experience. <laughs> Easy. Did you make it, Addy? I'll let you know in one sec. I'm in. All right, Grace. Let's find out what you've been up to for the past 900 years. So we have a crawl space. And what do we have here? Solid ice this way. Okay, then. That takes care of that. This might be tight. So we just crouch. Hope my light still works. Right, so we came from here. Can't go back. Not that kind of game. Well, you should see this spooky tunnel I'm in, Alan. And why would I want that? Come on, you're not excited? You crash-landed me in a frozen hellscape and left me for salvage. Ten years of research, not to mention six months of spaceflight, are about to pay off. But at what cost? Don't ruin this for me. Looks like the tunnels can be air-sealed. I'm guessing large parts of the station could be pressurized. Looks like a bit of a labyrinth, but I'm still picking up the signal ahead. And you can still hear me? Loud and clear, buddy. I'm looking at a pretty hefty blower. For... venting, maybe? Oh, for the production and movement of air. Which means more than a few people used to live here. Well, these can't be powered. Must be airflow in the tunnels. Oh, I have to say, there's more atmosphere than I was expecting. Not nearly enough to survive. Okay, so we've got a full-on maze going. The structure looks to be in decent condition. Another good sign. But we do have the radar Everything thing. Everything about this place looks 30th century to me. It's the right era, the right size. Don't say it, Addy. We've had our hopes dashed before. So it probably wants us to go in here. 
And it sucks that we can't sprint because I'm kind of curious what would be leaving behind if we did that. I mean, might as well be nothing, but maybe there actually is something. See, 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 more spaces. I kind of want to know. Maybe it's a bad idea, but... What if we otherwise never find out? Can you imagine that? I sure can't. Plus, they probably all lead to the same area anyway. I kind of feel like it's that type of game. I mean, which is fine, really. This one's broken. I think I can crawl through. Or... This would take me back to the start. Oh, sweet. That's definitely not something a lot of games would do. <laughs> Thank you, game. All right, fine. It's kind of creepy in the dark with just a flashlight, but it's not supposed to be a scary game, I don't think, so. Jeez, that's got to be over 15 meters. And if gravity here is one-sixth of that on Earth, then a 15-meter fall here would be the equivalent of falling less than three meters at standard G, which you've mastered a couple of times already on the moon's surface. Ah, it's probably fine. I could calculate outcome probabilities based on previous drop impacts if you've already jumped, haven't you? <laughs> Lots of ice. Gosh, I hope this is the right way. All right. Let's see where this leads. Nothing bad ever came from crawling down a shaft, oh, right? This is slick. Uh -oh. oh no. Whoa. Are you hurt, Addy? I'm working on it. The structure is enormous. I'm sure it's very big. This has to be the Grey Spire, Alan. And there it is. The perfect setup for disappointment. Just making sure. Found the beacon. The transmitter is on some sort of console. It must be part of a control network for the megastructure. You think we can make a connection here? Theoretically. If you run a scan, I can attempt to connect. Okie doke. Can do. The interface language is quite old and sophisticated, but we should be able to calibrate your computer to interact. You can use your gyroscope to sync with the terminal. I have the first calibration position. The meter will indicate when you are close. Um. First position is locked. Second calibration position is up. Okay, so we're just moving the thingy on our radar. Watch the meter closely, and move your hand slowly to find the position. That's two, and here's the final position. That's it. We're in. 
easy. Accessing the network now. Oh. Wait, what? Shit. Alan, you there? Alan? Hello. Huh? A visitor. Let's have a look. Where's Alan? Who is this? Who is this? Who are you? Entering a home without knowing its host. Are you... Grace? Hmm. Good question. I'm not entirely Grace. I'm running on just a small part of her logic processing. Grace is still here. And what brings you here? My name is Adamari Ito. I'm an explorer. I must apologize, Adamari. It would appear I have lost much of my capacity. I cannot see very far beyond the room we are in. I've lost connection with my ship's AI. You won't need Alan here. I can show you around. Will you be able to let me out of this room? Of course. But until we are able to restore power to the station, I will require your assistance. There should be a manual winch set in the floor at the foot of one of the sliding doors. A winch, you say? Yes. Look for a hinged floor grate. This at must the be it. Working the winch will open the door. Do you know where Grace has been all this time? Grace went somewhere? She's been gone for hundreds of years. I am running on a very old server. My memories predate the completion of the Grace Spire. Grace ushered in humanity's golden age. Peace across the system, booming interplanetary trade, scientific marvels, colonies beyond the orbit of Neptune. And then she was gone, and it all fell apart. I'm sorry, I don't remember. Well, you're a lot more than an archaeologist usually gets. There we go. The first step to restoring Grace is to bring the Spire's power station back online. Let's do it. I'll light the way. I'm guessing we're going here. What do I do here? This is a security panel. I am decrypting the pattern now. Ah, yes. Simple enough. You'll need to light up nine buttons, forming a square at the center of the panel. Okay. The nine buttons in the center. That is what I said. If you're not Grace, then... what do I call you? I don't believe there are any identification strings in my base logic that would suffice. I'll call you Logic, then. For now. Until we have a better idea of who you are. And, uh, you can call me Addy. I will refer to you as Addy, then. Until we have a better idea of who you are. <laughs> so what exactly are you? The station's emergency server had defaulted to Grace's original logic processing. That's me, as you've suggested. The server can also run a program dedicated to the control of infrastructure, and a third system dedicated solely to empathizing with and understanding humans. When power is restored, Grace's primary servers should come online, and we will become some small part of Grace's consciousness. I guess it's kind of like a gaming habit to check every nook and cranny for loot, but I don't think it's that kind of Go game either. Go ahead and activate the elevator. This looks like metallic rock. The power station is set into the Spire's foundation stone. The foundation stone would have been an asteroid, right? Most certainly. About 50 cubic kilometers, from what I can recall. Amazing. Most accounts of Grace's origins talk about an asteroid being pulled from the heavens. That makes sense. There wouldn't be any construction resources on Ganymede and nothing to anchor the structure. I can't imagine the effort it would have taken to redirect an asteroid that big. We don't do anything like that today. Here we go. Can you open this? With some difficulty. I will need to direct power from logic to control processing. 
and I will not function at the same cognitive level until full power is restored. What do you mean, at the same level? Good luck, Addy. You still there? Where would I have gone? You sound a little different. Just stronger. The voice of control resonates through the very walls of the structure. I shall start the turbine after you prime the generators that open the spillway. And this turbine still works? It worked before, and it will work again. You shall find the generators on the platform at the other side of the room. Alrighty. I was wondering if there's any point in turning off the flashlight, but probably not. These look like cartridges. Okay. I f feels like we might need those later. You know what's in these? Go to the three generators overlooking the turbine. Okay, he's no fun. That'll be those, I think. You must prime the generators first. Ah, uh, yes. Sense. These look like holding tanks. How exactly do these turbines work? Enough, Addy. You must go to the generators. So what do we have here? What happened here? Someone ripped this apart. For the last time, Dude. Go to the generators. <laughs> These look like crystal core processors. Amazing. You can find the material to build one of those today. Why do you insist on being so insolent? Go to the generators! So, why do you need me to start these? Tradition. A time-honored failsafe of including human hands in the operation of this station. But I am an explorer. I shall explore things. So, do you share memories with the logic processor? Indeed. We are all part of Grace. Aspects of her infinite power. Shadows of what was, and promises of what will be. I was the light that shone in the darkness. I was the hand that divided the firmament. If you say so, Duder. Alright, let's prime this last gen. Always gotta fix generators in games nowadays. <laughs> the turbine has failed us. That's not good. I must call upon you to cast out the wicked instrument. The what? The broken turbine. You must go to it now. All right. Just making sure there's nothing here. I'm guessing we're going to need to call that elevator. Yep. Going down. I'm safe to be down here, right? You shall not be harmed. You must uncouple the safety latches. That sounds unsafe. It is not. <laughs> there you go, that's one. Still can't sprint. You must now go to the magnetic crane. Yes, oh great AI overlord. Wait, where is that actually? Um, oh, that'd be that. How do we get there? You're sure I'll be able to fix this. If you trust in my word, yes. Okay, I think we're... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, this is us. I wonder where the music has gone. 
You must first cast out the old turbine. Okay. Now cast aside the wretched unit. Can do. Now you shall place the new turbine. Okay, Duke. Ah, everything is so nice and smooth. Let there be light. Hello? Everett, is that you? Grace? Everett. Behold my power. What's happened? I am reborn. Humanity will once again flourish in the brightness of my glory. This isn't right. Our processing has not combined. Grace has not been restored. I think she was here for a moment. She was calling to someone. Do you know whoever it is? No. With power restored, my mind is clearer, sharper. But I could not tell you who Everett is. You must leave this place at once. Return to your vessel and spread word of my return. From Sol's fiery core to the icy Kuiper expanse, all must know. I've hijacked the volume control. I don't feel like this is going to be a short commandment. We'll see how long before he notices. It took me nearly a year to get here. I want to know if Grace can be brought back. There is more complex to explore if you head back to the control room through which you entered. We should determine where in the megastructure my central processors are located. Perhaps along the way you may learn more about this Everett. I forbid you to linger a moment longer. And he's back. Like a divine comet, dive from the outer reaches no, and spread light and understanding to the inner Please. world. Please, I'm not leaving. Yet more insolence. Damn right. How, uh... We can't do anything here? Okay, I guess we truly are leaving then. Well, it's been nice, you know. Changing your dynamo and whatnot. Thank you. Come again. Oh, wait. There's still this stuff in the back. Do you know what these are? I have no record. They are likely parts to support the workings of this station. They're cartridges. Huh. Still nothing. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know, but okay. So, are there any accounts as to why Grace was shut down in the first place? There's no electronic record at all. That would have been lost during the Great Dark Age. Dark Age? Much of humanity's record keeping would have been managed by Grace. So. She went down 900 years ago, so did the ability to record what happened. The research that led me here was based on oral histories, mostly. And some artifacts we uncovered on Earth and Mars. Relay devices that were once connected to Grace's network. Then we share an interest in shedding light on this dark age. Okay. From what I can tell, there is some sort of transit system on the other side of the control room, which should lead you to the other parts of the spire. So are we basically gonna... I will illuminate the door leading to this transit system. Sorry, I was just trying to ask whether we're supposed to be powering up this great AI again, because that's kind of what it feels like. 
What door? What do you want? Oh, that one, I'm guessing. Yeah, because it's got one of those panels again. Alas, I require your nimble fingers again. All right, what's the pattern? Another easy one. The Phoenician letter Tor. Who would know that? I don't know. Perhaps an archaeologist? How about the Greek letter Chi? The Roman numeral 10? Okay, okay. Please tell me you know your Roman numerals. How I'm about a big it. fat X? Oh, you know that come one? on, I was... Give me a sec. No? Uh... Uh... Perhaps it's the symbol you use to sign documents. <laughs> really, dude? I mean... This is an X. It shows where the treasure is on maps. <clears throat> Now you're just uh, being con con condescending. Um. <laughs> but, but seriously, this is an X. What is the problem? Is this not an X? How is this not an X? It's... it's an X, the size of the keypad. 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 Yeah, we did that, yo. And, 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 and you didn't let me in. X, the size of a keypad. So, like, here you go. It's an X, the Maybe size of the Maybe that one was bugged, because I just pressed it three times. It was bugged. <gasps> Got it. This is not the way to your ship. Grace could have done something to cause humans to turn on her. Like what? Like becoming too overbearing? Humans would have been given no reason to question my bearing. It's one of my theories, yes. Ooh. This must be the main entrance. I'm guessing the landing pad is on the other side of the big doors. That's correct, Addy. Though the pad appears to be buried under meters of ice. What are these for? They appear to be terminals for processing visitors to the Spire. But they no longer store any useful information. Well, you say this. But what if it's a trap? That's exactly what you'd say, right? This looks Olympian or Neo-Egyptian. The triangle must represent the Spire. Beautiful, don't you think? Does it matter if it's beautiful? I guess not. Man, can't even appreciate good art. Imagine. That's right, I said appreciate. Cool statue. Or maybe it's a mobile. Do the little moons move? Perhaps at one point in time. Though I'm not sure of the relevance of that. Eh, just curious. So they're kind of portraying these fractured AI personalities as not having any emotion because AI is robot. Okay. Is this an airlock? 
Yes. The spire beyond this point can be pressurized. I assume your suit has limited oxygen? I have about five hours left. That's quite a risk you're taking. Were you assuming station life support could be restored? Well, can it? I believe so. But for reasons I'll never understand, life support is controlled by empathy processing. I suppose they had to give it something to do. I will enable that programming now. Hello, Addy. Hello. So, you're going to get oxygen going? The process has already begun, my friend. No rush. If you let me accompany you along the path ahead, I can balance the environment to your life force as we walk. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Wow. How are these plants still intact? They must have been subject to a very sudden drop in temperature while still alive. What is this place? Remaining connected to one's natural world is important for a person's well-being. A fitting starting point for those entering the structure, don't you think? Do you see them, Addie? Life in perfect stillness? Um... The flowers defying the hoarfrost. As you have defied the emptiness of space to arrive here. I, I guess. Which one are you? Pardon me? Which one of these blooms best embodies your spirit? Seriously? It's important I know these things in the balancing of illuminatory ergonomics. Fancy words do not make this any less idiotic. Go ahead, Addie. There are no wrong choices. Do you recognize any of the objects in this section of the garden? I'd love to know what you think of them. For the calibration process. I mean... They're... Um, flowers? And... Trees? Go ahead and choose a blue, Maddie. This one. I had a feeling you'd pick that. You're a risk taker. There's a passion in you, a fire you can barely contain that drives you to complete your mission. I'm making the lighting adjustments now. You can make your way to the artifact display by the boardwalk. It, it, it also just matches my suit. I'm just very color coordinated. It was a very impulsive decision. I may have regrets now. What, what do you mean? Oh, well. I guess it's going to be a very bright game going forward. All right. I think we're supposed to go here. What's the rush, Addy? If you'll return to the garden, we can finish balancing life support. Oh. Do I have to pick more? Oh, we have to pick a statue or something, right? Please consider an object, Addy. This looks like Pacific Revival. Part of an archway, maybe. That's a pretty big piece to ship all this way. So it must be important. Even though it's no longer holding up a roof. I guess its purpose has changed. As can happen with people, too. Am I doing this right? You are doing splendidly. Please, consider another object. I'm sorry. This cannot possibly be necessary. Temperature preferences can vary considerably between individuals. Careful calibration is essential. How about above freezing and we proceed? It's really up to Addy. If you don't wish to consider more objects, I can set the temperature within a survivable range and you can move to the pergola in the center of the room. This statue could be outer colonial. It's simple, but it's quite beautiful, I guess. And why would its beauty matter? People like pretty things. A human truth spanning thousands of years. What's the point of this, Addy? A fair question. Why do these objects interest you? I'm an explorer. I'm here to learn. And that's to be admired. Hell yeah. Do we need to do more? I have no idea what this is. A weapon or a tool of some kind? It's a device for working metal. Why do you suppose it's in this garden, Addie? It could be a symbol of hard work. An industrious future. Or a laborious past, perhaps. You're not a planner, are you? You live in the moment, don't you? I've been told that. I like that about you. 
so we didn't recognize an anvil for real but here we were like oh my this is a colonial piece dude it's a fucking hat this must be terra classical or made in the style i'm not really an expert but it suits you <laughs> Terra. The ancient Classical. Greeks boarded their ships and set out to explore the world, discover its gods, and conquer its monsters. You are an explorer, Addy. But are you here to meet a god or to slay some beast, I wonder? What would you say these objects have in common? They're artifacts from long before the building of the station. The things we leave behind say something about us, don't they? What a society leaves behind is all we have in understanding how they lived. But we're interested in what you were willing to leave behind in order to come here. Haven't left a whole lot, to be honest. Because you need little more than your curiosity to sustain you. I believe that's all I will need to set the perfect temperature. Finally, you can move to the pergola in the center of the room. Is this a lantern? An expression of our certainty in the flow of time. How so? A craftsman spent months carving this remarkable device based on the absolute certainty that after day, night would follow. All right, I follow. All righty. So now we're supposed to step into... <gasps> Perfect timing. The room is fully compressed and we can go about setting oxygen levels. Call me old-fashioned, but how about the traditional 21%? Go ahead and seat yourself at the center of the pergola. Uh, okay. Very good. Now, when you're ready, you can remove your helmet. My helmet? Of course. You can't sample the air I've prepared with it on. And you're sure it's safe? Your well-being is the most important thing, Addy. I'm certain it is safe. Okay. Now I want you to take a deep breath. No. I want you to take a slow, deep breath and hold it until I tell you to release. Oh. A nice, deep breath. Hold it there. Three, two, one, and release. Beautiful. And when you're ready, another deep breath in. Deep as you can, Addy. Hold it. Three, two, one, and release. Very good, Addy. Feel all that built up stress from your long journey here release into the ether. Oh, please, shut out any negative energy and take in another life nurturing breath. Okay. Fill those marvelous lungs. Hold it. Three, two, one, and release. We're doing some meditation. Wonderful. Even the station has a limited supply of oxygen. We can move on now. Next, I want you to really open your body by reaching up toward the sky. Wonderful. How's that feel, Addy? Kind of nice. And we're almost done the calibration. For our last exercise, I will ask you to stand up. Okay. Now, once you're centered, you can hold your hands in a relaxed position in front of you. Now transfer your weight onto one foot. I want you to hold that for 10 seconds. Okay. What could this possibly have to do with oxygen levels? It's about balancing. Literal balancing? Unbelievable. Almost there. Three, two, one. And that's ten seconds. Excellent, Addy. We've done great work here today. I've made note of these settings for the other parts of the station. So, we can move to the transit system now? The door out is just up the stairs, past the flowers. First try. Take that, Dark Souls. Easy. 
Easy game.